for the 99% people, which I'm one of them. I'm here today with dozens of people to blockade the Wells Fargo because enough is enough. We're here to say to Wells Fargo that it's time for them to pay their dues. Environmental Network. I'm an environmental eco justice warrior. Oh, and I'm here as a part of National Nurses United and California Nurses Association supporting the whole Occupy and foreclosure uh, movement to really make sure that banks pay what they should be paying for causing the crisis that they've created. So we demand that Wells Fargo divest from these predatory loans. Wells Fargo is one of the most egregious offenders in terms of foreclosures. A mí me quitaron tres casas. Me engañaron, me, me, me dieron un préstamo y a los dos años me cambiaron el préstamo. Me, I had to put $100,000 payment into my house because I didn't qualify. But I'm uh, having problems because I expend more than 60-70% of my income that goes to the mortgage. Well, I personally have, uh, my parents lost their home, uh, and then they moved in with my uncle, and then uh, his home was foreclosed on. We're surviving on less and less, and they're just making more profits, and so we're tired of it. 90% of the foreclosures are concentrated in three zip codes, so you can tell that it was systematic. Our uh, elders, a lot of elders were targeted. We also have a lot of people who are monolingual Spanish speakers who were targeted, and some of the poorest black people. I was uh, arrested blockading the entrance of the Wells Fargo um, because I think that what Wells Fargo is doing to my family and to countless other families is not right. Wells Fargo, like many other banks, is an exact example of what's wrong in our country right now um, in corporate greed run amok. Your greed is killing our planet. Your greed is making our kids go hungry. Your greed is making our kids lose homes. Our greed is making it so that their schools have 35, 40 kids in a classroom. That's not acceptable. I think we're here today because the banks are foreclosing on their future, you know, our, our children's future. I think being a parent, it just puts things in focus in a new way. The future that these children face is going to be a really difficult and challenging one. Mom, my kid's school is broke. They're laying off teachers. And we want our kids to eat. We want our kids to have a roof over their heads. We want our kids to have a planet that 50 years from now will nurture them and take care of them. Get involved with your union, get involved with your community organization, get involved with your church, and make sure that you're bringing people together because that's where our movement lives, our movement lives on the streets. It's clear that, that it's time for us to really step up. We're the 99% and we're here to take back our communities and our country. We're going to go back to the picket because we're still waiting to have to take away the south. Are you tired?